Good morning, Eagles. My name is Yuriti Sabal. And I'm Angie Nam And, and you're, you're watching, watching KOHS, KOHS News, News this morning. morning. This week's theme is optimism. To be optimistic means to be hopeful and confident about the future. Yep, I'm really looking forward to the senior activities at the end of the year. No, yeah, me too. But I've been procrastinating with my schoolwork, and it's hard to find focus. Yeah, me too. I barely finished my four torches activity. I haven't even done that, and my counselor diagnosed me with senioritis. No way. That sounds lethal. Yeah, four out of three seniors suffer from it, and you probably have it too. What? No! Hey, seniors. Is senioritis kicking in? Yes? Trust me. I know how you're feeling. And for the underclassmen or for the clueless seniors out there, senior rides can be something you get when the end of high school is near. A decline in motivation because of the I'm basically done mentality. But listen. Fitness strong because your favorite shows like All American and Friends can wait. But those grades won't. I know you've already got exceptions in college or military, and you're just simply waiting for this chapter of high school to be over. But appreciate this time with your buds. And don't worry, the sunny beaches and those ranks of Call of Duty will be there waiting for you and your sexy diploma. You've made it this far, all the way from preschool to here. So why finish the race walking? Take that last big stride and bring that gold medal, AKA that once again, sexy diploma home. Later Eagles, and back to the studio. Wow, I really needed that motivation. Thanks Cam. Yes, and now I know what to look forward to. Yep, that sexy diploma. But I still need to figure out how to get there, and I feel like there's no hope for my grades. Don't think like that. You could definitely do it. Yeah, but I might just give up on graduating. I don't really know. Come on, you have to be optimistic. Here's a word from our sponsor. Tired of being sad all the time? Want to see the world in color? Well then. Introducing the Optimism Spray. With one squirt, you will be from pessimistic to optimistic, from frowning to smiling, and from sad to mad, totally happy. Here are some of our satisfied customer. You know, before using the optimism spray, I used to worry about a single failing grade. But now, after using the optimism spray, I learned that I shouldn't sweat over the small stuff. You know, I always felt like this glass was half empty, but after using the optimism spray, I'm optimistic that this glass is half empty. It worked for two customers, so I don't see why you shouldn't buy it. Call our number or visit our website to get your own optimistic spray today. Interesting, I might have to look into this product. Don't forget, dial 619-123-SQUIRT. Oh yeah, definitely. Man, I could've used this product a few days ago. A few days ago? For Groundhog Day? Bro, no. For Valentine's Day. Oh. Yeah, dude, I had no riz. What's riz? I think Matthew can help explain on this topic. I can't believe I really did not have a date for Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is so overrated! <laughs> Expectation. What Valentine's Day was supposed to be. Hey, I'm Reginald, but my homies call me Reggie. I saw you across the campus and I thought you were super pretty. Hi, I'm Juliana, and I thought you were pretty cute too. And before you ask, I'm not doing anything for Valentine's Day. Reality. What actually happened on Valentine's Day? Hey, I'm Reginald, but my homies call me Reggie. I saw you across the campus and I thought you were pretty. Hey, I'm Juliana, but before you ask, I'm not doing for anything for Valentine's Day with you. I knew I had no Riz. I'm Riz, having game with the ladies. Never get a girl. Hey bro, I know what you're going through, but with confidence and being your true self, you can do whatever you want. Really? I always thought I had to change who I am to be attractive. <laughs> nah bro. You're a cool guy. Don't sweat it. Just be yourself. Remember, Eagles, you don't have to change who you are for anyone. Thanks, Matthew. So how did you end up spending your Valentine's Day? I went to the gym. Oh, really? 
Dang, I want to work out more too. Do you know where I could go or where I could start? Yeah, you can go to the weight room before school, and it can also help you with your riz. Let's have Nathan tell us more about the weight room. Do you want to work out more? Come check out our Olympian weight training class. Let's see what it's like in the weight room. Let's see how some of the students feel about the class. Hello, Beagles. I'm here with Owen Ocampo, Noah Pountain, Mark Benito. These are these guys are students of the weight training class. What's the best part about being part of weight training? Uh, probably just being able to work out with my homies. Uh, it's, it's a pretty fun uh, class to take. What's the environment like in the class? Man, the environment's just live. Like everybody, energy up, like encouraging each other. Feel me? Who would you recommend the class to? I, re I recommend this class to everybody. Girls, guys, whatever gender you go by. This class is amazing. Everybody should take it. Thank you. Now next year, I'll definitely have a valentine. But you shouldn't just work out to get a valentine. You should also work out for yourself. And remember, Eagles, mental health is just as important as your physical health. What do you do for your mental health, Jesse? Well, I obviously read a lot of books. Oh, for real? Then you should yeah. consider going to Olympian Book Club. Olympia Book Club needs your help. The next meeting is Friday, February 25th, where they need book donations, or you can swap a book out. Bring as many friends as you want to room 701. And a few doors down, you can also register for CSF at room 708. Bring your filled out application, which can be found on the OHS website or on their Instagram. And also bring your transcript from last semester and $5. Doors will be open every day during lunch to all sophomores and upperclassmen. Anyways, do you know what's coming up in the March? Uh, spring break? Uh, no. Well, yes, but I'm talking about the MAD concert. Oh, right. The MAD concert is calling all Eagles who want to show off their talent on March 17th, St. Patrick's Day. This event is a night full of fun and entertainment where all grade levels can participate. If you want to audition, fill out the Google form sent via Jupiter. There are no in-person auditions, so make sure you submit an audition through the, through the Google form. The form will close on March 6th. Good luck to those auditioning. And that's it for today, Eagles. I'm your at C7. And I'm Andrew Demoine. And, and this, this has, has been, been your KHS, KHS News this morning. morning. Eagle, Eagle out! out.